hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is judith if you are new here and if you are not i just want to say a big welcome to you thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and in today's video i am here to introduce you to a young Ghanaian man who has some great innovative ideas like the stuff he's doing i can't wait to let you all know so i have with me robert Insel. robert Insel. robert are you a Ghanaian? oh yeah i already <laughs> said you're a Ghanaian, but <laughs> yeah yeah i'm a Ghanaian. Mm, where do you come from i'm from the the Upper East. Oh, okay. So this is a big win for the Upper East people and um, your age, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm just uh, reaching seven years recently. I'm so he's, yeah, very young. Just last month. Yeah, 12 September. Okay, okay. That means I still owe you a birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah, good. Yeah. your education, like where did you school? Okay, uh, Primary, I came to Asante University 2014 after completing 2014 means seven years ago. Yeah. Okay. So I went to senior high in Kumasi here. That's Great Kung school. Konango Dimasi. Okay, course. Great course. <laughs> Great course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So from Great Course. After completing, I was supposed to go to university. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I'm still to find why I'm not going to invest yet. Mm -hmm. But one of the reasons why I haven't gone to invest yet is uh, I just feel like let me achieve what I want first mm -hmm. before I go to school. Sure. Because school has nothing to do with age. Exactly. But innovation and creativity have something to do with age. But if you wait and it's too late, you may not be able to get that fast mind to think and that's into that. very true. So I decided to hold on and continue my company mm -hmm. and do my own stuff, try to impact on others. But that's really what I want to do more. And I realized I could do it without um, university. So university exactly. now. Maybe later. <laughs> okay. And then you've not wasted time at all. You've really utilized the time. Others complain but I also feel like when the right others complain. They feel like, oh, why are you not schooling? All that. Hmm. But I feel like oh they should hold on when the right time comes I'll go. Okay. Because me I've seen people go to school and waste time you get it <laughs> even back on campus we used to see a lot of people that you can see you, you can see this person and you're like ah this person is wasting their time so okay. once you feel fulfilled then you've been able to do what you actually wanted to do it's fine sure. so in what like in which year sorry in which year did you actually realize this innovative and creative Ideas. Oh, okay. Uh, I was born with it. That's one. Thing. You were born with it. Yeah. Okay. I started when I was very young, way back. What I can remember is when I was ten years, when I did my uh, experiment on the cleaner propagation of light. That's well, I'm a science student, so okay. you just okay. brought that idea. <laughs> Okay. 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 The light travels in the straight path. Okay. So I used plywood to design it very nice. And Wow. The school was very impressed. From ten there, years. Yeah, and I was way back ten years. I'm primary four. So from there on our a textbook, there was mm -hmm. this experiment on how electric motors and air fans work. So I go home and said, No, I must do it. Wow. So I built my own electric motor and then As at that age. Yes, very young. Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. So from there I started doing a lot of things just to impress people. That was one of the motives. Another thing was that I always try to achieve or get what I can't afford. Exactly. So let's say you I'm, said that earlier. Yeah. Like what? if you see something that you like, but cannot afford, but you can't afford, I it you myself. have to do it. <laughs> Makes a lot of but, sense. Yeah, I don't give up on that. And what I'm doing, I don't think of how to do it. How can I also do my own just to achieve the same effect? To make yours unique. That is it. So always try to add, subtract, add, subtract. And grace keeps us motivated at them. Actually, when I was a kid, I was only motivated by what people say about me. I used to do repairing of radios and all that. I was like, wow, you've done great. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? I was also impressed about it. Making lighting system at a very young age. Lighting really system, cool. wow. So that's how the day started. It's not like after a senior high or at some point that I started. 
actually you were born with it. it. Mm. Wow. The, the energy uh, was a bit going down when I got to GHS. Why? Well, I, I felt what we were looking for was education, and primary school <laughs> education was different. You know that you even go to school today, tomorrow you will, nobody cares. But GHS, the competition was tough. Sure. And family always wanted you to be first or second. Mm -hmm. So I had to drop my own and push this. Sure. And so I got to GHS too. I was like, no, why should I even do what I'm doing? So I had to go back to a fraud again. So I was transferred to an international school, which of the government school, because okay. of what? I was not paying much attention to school again and then. So. Uh, at the international school, I had to close everything. I also focus. Was actually, when I went, I was really far behind. Sure. I can remember one of my class friends made a comment that I'll never forget it about life. <laughs> <laughs> they did the yeah. exercise. That was my first time in the class. Mm -hmm. and I had 8 out of 20 hey, science exercises. That was bad. Very bad. <laughs> it was not my fault because uh -huh. I was coming from the government school. Mm -hmm. we, um, For you to meet up with the international. Yes. They, they are 20. Science textbook. Wow. And I was now also starting. So okay. I didn't even know what they were doing. I was just trying to add my own mind to certain do it. The guy told me I should leave it and come and take care of their kettles in the house. Oh really? Yeah, so I just laughed. I said, Wow, this is interesting. Wow. I said, Oh, I was so disappointed. Okay. So by grace from two thirds and I was able to move and fall among the first time in class. Oh, you are because I can see that you are very so, intelligent. After that, uh, when I was able to achieve what I wanted by following among the first five in class, uh, I decided to also start my third work school, just to get the attention of the school authorities. Mm -hmm. So I used to repair the school bus for them. When the bus goes off, I take it and repair it back in okay. the 80s. Okay. And the headmistress like my matter. Mm -hmm. Oh, they ever since started the game. Mm -hmm. So I completed and came to Kumasi, went to learn network engineering. Just, I, just, I didn't feel like... That's after, after GHS. GHS. Okay. I didn't feel like staying in the house, so I went to learn network engineering. From there, I went to Kodan Road. I, was, I had begun a senior high in Tamale. I reported, and then on, man, on Sunday, the following Friday, I had to come back to Masi. I was like, Because you didn't like the. I didn't like the because it was far from me. Okay. And I felt like if I go there, I'm going back to the north. And if I get and come to Masi, go back to the north, no, I won't do that. So you I want keep, to move one side if i'm moving from north to south then so is i'm not okay between the two bodies sure so i came and then joined kunan with my senior high course uh, great course okay yeah. okay uh, i'm sure they are very proud of you oh to be honest they are really proud of mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. but, oh things were difficult but i was using smartphone on campus teachers were aware they had myself i were with Ah, how see. can you talk? I was like, preparing for on campus. Mm -hmm. They only talk, say so I should be careful, but stopping was not a So, from high school, I was discovered by my science teacher. No, my visual teacher, Mr. Victor. Okay. But in the dormitory, I was just doing my creative things the, on my bed. My bed was my workshop. So, I go and work small and put the mattress on things. I, I, I'm bed. trying to imagine how your bed was looking <laughs> like. I have a bit of a, I can't say it now. Oh, okay, when we are done, I'll show it to you guys. My bed was full of wires, meters, screwdrivers. So, I actually had to use two mattress. Mm -hmm. So, I would lie on the things with the extension and everything. I'll put the uh, second mattress on top and lie. So, you'd be the sleeping on top of them. them. Because there's no way to pack them. <laughs> yeah, so actually, it was a bit crazy. Wow. One, the students realized what I was doing. They went to report to the visual art the department. Mm -hmm. The teacher also called me, welcomed me, and I was like, oh, this is where I want to be. Mm -hmm. So I joined them. When it was time for oh. uh, the National Exhibition and Sunyani, I was able to take course to the first. Okay. We were able to win the competition as well, wow. way back 2016. So after winning that competition, that's when the whole story changed. I was now getting more famous on campus. Okay. Went to school for uh, uh, SRC uh, festival. I went for discovery of the year. Mm -hmm. I did so many things: cocoa drying machine, portable TV, air conditioning. A cocoa drying machine. Yeah. Wow. When I had to drive cocoa for one month, I was here. Yes, because I was about to say, as of now, they still use the traditional way of I drying. I cocoa. didn't like it, so I had to go and stay with my friend at Ekidwasi, where they do this cocoa farm, and mm -hmm. did an experiment there. On my own interest. How oh, I mind. wish I could see the, how this oh, machine sorry. looks like. It's far gone. Okay. These are the ideas they in book. Mm -hmm. And then if 
you still have that idea. Yeah. Meaning that if you get like the funds, the the needed funds, you can produce oh, yeah. it on a large scale sure, and then. That's yeah. Even I've even improved on it. Even to extend, I can even use dry and then and uh, grains and all that. Like wheat, maize, and yes. Wow. And all that. Wow. Pepper and all that. Wow. So innovation has been good. Mm. I like the journey. <laughs> I like the From journey. high school, I went to Innovate Ghana uh, during the competition. Actually, I was a bit strange about how things are going, but I had to manage it like that. Sometimes so, you just have to allow sure. yourself. So yeah. I joined Innovate Ghana team in Accra with my project. I didn't even know which project to take. Oh. I went there with so many, they were like, ah, who are you and what do you want to do? Mm-hmm. So I said, this, unless they decide what I should They want do. you to do. Yeah. So. I took uh, the project they selected was generating power from the taps. So whilst we have a generator, a mini generator that whilst you are bathing, it's able to generate uh, light from the tap running. As in, in the bathroom, in the bathroom and the tap. Yeah. So in the moment on the shower, you have the light. light. Wow. And that light is not connected. The water is powering it actually. No, okay. No so once the water stop, it will stay for some time and go off just because of it being rechargeable. So they chose that project and So that's a form of hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric power. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it was yes, yeah. hydraulic power. That's try to generate power from this mini source of water. So I went through it and I was really happy. Mm-hmm. Actually most of the terms the terms that I didn't understand. I was just happy at my mango. Mm. Investor students and all that and just a good chest. You see, one thing about the Ghana education system that I always talk about is that people, we, we are knowledge-based and not skill-based, you true. get it? You right now, you have the skills, you have the knowledge as well. Yeah. Someone knows all the theory, can do all the calculations, but once you give the person the wires and everything, <laughs> you can't even produce anything. That advice from my physics yeah. teacher. My physics, we used to fight. Mm. My physics teacher. You used to fight with him. Oh yeah, that is the process. <laughs> you, you are teaching us experiment. I want to see it, it done, and he was always talking about physics is abstract. Physics making things complete. <laughs> so my questions in the class was, how do we do it? Mm. How, what impact does that have on my life? And I guess that would be a challenge for him. So the teacher, the oldest man, came to the same thing. He talked of combustion fuel and all that. Exactly, my my so field. How do we now get our own fuel? Why should I learn it? Like I don't do it unless you tell me. And all these calculations, fossils and all that. No, when I was in high school, we used to complain that um, Ghana education is not good. Yeah. But after just waiting like, for the day you will actually link skill based knowledge to our knowledge, like okay. all these book so things. Then we are taking on. Yes, I just. My, Ghana education is good. It's good. Uh, what, are, what, are, what, are, what I also realized was that uh, during the high school, they make it open. Mm. They give you the majority of options because they cannot say, even general arts and general science, visual yeah, arts. You know, this course is one people go, some people go and they say, I want to be a general arts student. Then at some point, they move to a different department. So we are actually confused. The generation is confused at senior high. So they make it open that go to where you think you are okay. Yes. But after the problem is now at the university. After the high school, we choose to go and do some courses at the university. They are really need to do, but we don't actually look into how where you want to go. After high school, I realized that you have to now look at your path. Where exactly. Are you going? But we still go to university in a search of finding, trying to find your dream. Mm-hmm. We don't know what you want to do. Right? Yes. Now we want to find some university, which is very bad. After that, then you come and find your actual self. That is the delay. Well, Robert, this brings me to my next question. Someone might ask, all these things that you are doing, have you got any support from the government yet? Yeah, we have not got any support from the government yet. Hopefully, yet? Yes. Hoping we will get some. But like, have you made any move yet? No. Have you tried to make yourself known? Oh, we have a lot, we have a lot of publicity, like Joy News. Oh, I was on the Royal TV for more than two months for the program. I paid for it on my own money. Wow. I would teach the public how to manage power, renewable energy, and then how to even adapt it to the idea of technology. But uh, for that two months, it was very really expensive. We had to pay and then go for it. We've been on hmm. different radio interviews. Hmm. Ghana politi- uh, government is our politics. I don't want to go into politics. Exactly. That's why. You I don't know anyone 
you can in a certain political party and that is what should be changed because we should focus on what we can do for the generation and not if if the if there's supposed to be something to be done to help the generation we shouldn't mind if the person is supporting this party or, or if, yes but and then that's, what is that's very sad well my family they are in different parties there. i personally i don't just feel like going for parties mm. but i'm like okay i'm a youth get to start why should i go and mango because Ghana parties if you are an mpp hmm. you never get support from this exactly it is a barrier between, so I don't want to also find wanted in this. Just keep I don't, doing your I thing. I don't want uh, to, uh, Ghana to judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, easy. When people are even coming to patronize your services, they'll say that, oh, he's from this party, then yeah, I won't go. You see. You don't do that. Even the trainees, those who come to learn, when they try to talk of politics, uh, if you are from them, I can decide to support or I can decide to stand aside. Mm -hmm. But if I'm supporting, I always want them to know that whatever you are saying, you have to have something to back it up. Sure. We shouldn't just sit there and say Ghana government is should create jobs. Government, the government cannot get up and say I go for or I go for a great job for us. He cannot come and say I'm opening the trickle school for everybody because we have many. Mm. He cannot do all that. He's trying his best to be frank. And as every one point in time, some people are smiling over what the government is doing. Others are not Others smiling. Are and not that's smiling. how, that's how in fact life is. So I don't want to always complain about it. Yes. But I always say that don't condemn. Work on your own. Whether the government is there, NDC, NPP, I, I don't care for now. Mm -hmm. You are still doing your thing. The number of people are trained is over 100 without government support. Sure. So what's all that? Uh, I must wait for government support. If by grace the support comes later in the future, we will oh, take it. We will come it and mm -hmm. then we will explode from there. Sure. <laughs> But so Robert, <laughs> I'm very happy to have you today and at, as at this point, I want us to actually stop talking, then you take me around and then we show, aha, uh -huh. firstly, you talked about some plastic block that you did, I'm yeah. sure you show it to us, yeah. Yeah, so I want us to okay. go around and then we show us, so guys, let's move, move. Eh? so shall we? Sure, Yeah. so when you enter our office here, Mm -hmm. As you can see, the SDGs is there, and then we start with the paper. So, all this is made from paper. Paper? Yes. A4 seeds, nine papers, all kinds of papers we transform into this. Okay. And this is very hard to sort it. The flower pot. Okay. So, uh, this one was also used from a paper, like made from a paper. paper. Wow. It's paper. Okay. I really like it. Okay. So uh, we, when I joined the visual arts department, they were doing a lot of paper recycling. So I was like, okay, that is great. Let me also add mine. So from there, I decided to come out with a flower was that is having a sound system attached to it. Mm -hmm. Actually, a home theater. Okay. So I do my electronics recycling. They do paper recycling. Mm -hmm. They'll make the ideas together and have a whole complete product, which is home theater made from paper. Okay. Yes. So Very impressive. When you want it, that's Bluetooth, that's radio, that's on Bluetooth mode. Okay. Okay, it's connected to my phone. It's connected Connect to your phone and okay, this is FM. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm so 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 impressed. <laughs> like <laughs> okay, yes. what again? So, and this wall handles are also from the paper and wood. Mm. So, this is used for the design, it's very nice. Different art. Got the picture art. Okay. So, all scenes and all of that. Mm. So, the next thing is uh, the plastic, which we have a last sample of the main office for okay. the production side of the paper. So, this is made from uh, plastic, bottle, pure chassis, and all that. We collect it, melt it. After melting, the oil stand to it and pour into a mold and have. So can you can you give us the percentage of plastic? Plastic is around eighty-five to ninety percent. Okay. The sand is ten percent. Wow. So people actually use it to build. Yeah. Uh, the idea of this was not only to abate the waste, plastic waste, but water rising walls. We see nice buildings, but the water rising is actually destroying. Yes. The pit and all that. When we use them for the foundation, the starting of it, you will not experience this. Another thing is the pavement. 
you go to some houses and it's very nice but with it, there are grasses growing yes yes when you use the plastic it's not like that wow but during the daytime it absorbs some heat mm -hmm. the heat is able to kill all the uh, microorganisms and all that is inside the environment so nothing can grow wow okay where do we go again? So we go to our stage. There was it I mean, this is a job from the paper. The I print. actually came to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is our mirror uh, from recycled paper. Mm. These are all from the paper and other. This is our home theater. Uh, the interesting part of the e-waste recycling, that's electronic waste. We go to our bar. This, Abu Abu, I know they, this can then go, they collect the electronic waste. They do nothing to it, they just... Ah, just some it. used to come to our house, so they condemn, condemn yes. people. So what, 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 every time I go there, I get something interesting to buy. Mm. I bought this one, so it's a TV speaker. Okay. So when I bought it, the little home theater was also imported. I realized either it was faulty or the person couldn't use it again. So when I saw it, I had to buy it and then come and transform it to... Something nice. that we can use. Yes. And it's very entertaining. And aside that, the e waste to also have the power storage systems. So, this is our power bank. This man does not want to use that. Okay. <laughs> I carry it around whenever I go to work. Mm. And this can power a TV, standing fan, a lot. Wow. When I use the power TV, I watch TV for not less than 10 hours. Hey! Then it's a huge. It's a bit heavy. Power system. So this is recycled. We have the batteries from laptop repairs. Okay. When you go there, they have a whole lot of batteries that are faulty. They claim it's destroyed. But you don't see it yeah. as destroyed. We take it and process it and take the good ones. Sure. And then we transform it to a power station system. We do have different, different. We go to the, the battery processing stage. Okay. So from there. You told me you made the tables and chairs yourself. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> With the tables and chairs, what I mostly don't like is I don't have to compete with others. I don't like competition. So I always try to get my own thing in my own way now. So when we come to this office, we realize we needed tables and chairs. So I had to sit down brainstorm and get a design out of it. So we had this design which we think it was Nice. We are not done with it. Just it's that, nice. This is what we got into. So wow. I had to approach my world well and together put things up together and work it out. And this day, people come and say, Oh, where did you buy it from? And I said, Oh, it's You made it yourself. Yes. And then the surface is like a marker board. Yeah. So you can actually use it yes. to learn yeah. to. Wow. So, and in the that's our classroom things. The, the, the car tie table here mm -hmm. is actually, I bought the tie, three of them for. Ah, <laughs> three of the ties. So why is it? Well, it was forty. Then they considered it forty. Yeah, you know, these organizers they have uh -huh. the little ones. So when I bought it from them, I came and I had to add beauty to it. And turn it to oh. a center table. I'm so impressed. Okay, you have a whole lot of products. Mm -hmm. That is the key way. I don't is, think I'll um, be able to go through all of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, water fountain that we designed. We have different designs of the water fountain, mm. which we put on the background. Wow. So, there are a whole lot of things that we are doing. Robert, you are a very great person. Oh, yeah. Right I'm humbled to be here. Thank you. And I want us to end the video now. No yeah. Okay, guys. So, um, I'm going to end the video with Robert now. Mm -hmm. I will leave every bit of his details in the video description. So once you watch the video, kindly visit the description. You will see his business email, his, you have a business number, yeah. his number, his social media handles. And guys, please let's all support Robert because we can't let all this innovative stuff go to waste. Yeah, and once again, if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe. Thank you and see you in another video. Bye.